Okay, one of the basic concepts that everyone has to learn when we talk about deep learning is how to construct a deep neural network. Now here in this video, I'm going to show you as how you can build your neural network using TensorFlow. Now before we go ahead and build a neural network with TensorFlow, let's understand the parts of a neural network so that it will give you an intuition when I'm typing the code. When I talk about a deep learning neural network, this is how it would look like. It will have some input layer and it will have some hidden layer and it will also have some output layer. Now here if you look at the screen, my one neuron in one layer is connected to every other neuron in the next layer. See these connections that you're seeing over here, these connections as you can clearly see one neuron in one layer is connected to every other neuron in the next layer. So we call this type of connections as a dense connections. All right. And along with this, you can also observe one important characteristic. The characteristic is, see, I'm having an input layer and this input layer is stacked next to a hidden layer one. And this hidden layer one is stacked next to an another hidden layer two. And this hidden layer two is stacked next to another, another layer, which is called as output layer. As you can clearly see, I'm stacking one layer next to another. This type of stacking kind of layers is actually called as sequential layers. Okay, so we have understood about the terminology. I have the input, I have the hidden layers and I have the output and the connections that we are seeing over here is the dense connection and I'm placing one layer next to each other in the format of a sequential layers. And one another important thing that we can observe over here is if you look at our input layers, the input layers are expecting us to be given as an input in the format of a vector. Now that means that let's say if I have an input in the kind of a matrix, an example can be an image. So if I have an image which is of the shape, let's say 25 by 25 by three, okay, three is number of color channels. So if I have this image, which is in the array shape of 25 by 25 by three. If I'm sending this as an input, I have to make sure that I'm converting this three dimensional array into an one dimensional array. And we call this activity as a flattening activity. So in case of flattening, I'm going to convert a multi-dimensional array into a single dimensional array. Okay. So, once I define all these things, like once I define my input layer, what will be its shape and I'll have to make sure that I'm flattening it and this will be connected to my hidden layers. And after my hidden layers, I'll have my output layer. And in each layer, remember guys, in case of hidden layers, as well as my output layer, I'll have the respective activation functions. So I'll define my activation function as per my requirement. And once I have done that, I'll be able to complete my model. Now, once the model is complete, we'll go ahead and compile the model, specify the loss function, specify the learning algorithm as per our use case, and then we can perform the fit. So let's go to our TensorFlow and let's create a neural network that would look like this. All right, so let's start building our neural network. First, I'll start by importing my TensorFlow library. I'll say import TensorFlow as TF. Now, once this is complete, I'll go ahead and create my model as sequential. The reason because as I mentioned already, this is a sequential architecture that we are seeing. So I'll create an object as a sequential object. I'll say it as model is equal to tf dot keras dot models dot sequential. So this sequential is present inside the keras dot models. So I'll create this models as a sequential. And once I define this model as a sequential, I have, I now have the ability to specify my individual layers. Now I'll define my input layer. I'm going to say that, okay, for my model object that I have just created, I'm going to add one more layer. And this layer, I'll say it as model.add. And inside the parenthesis, I'm going to specify how this layer should be. Now in my input layer, as I mentioned already, I'll have to make sure that whatever the input that I'm having, let's say in this example, I took the input of the shape 25 by 25 by three, isn't it? So I'll have to make sure that I'm flattening this image, which is of the shape 25 by 25 by three into a single dimensional array object. 
now i can do this flattening operation outside my tensorflow or i can include this flattening activity inside my tensorflow model itself so i'll show you how we can include it inside our model itself so here i have mentioned as model dot add and then tf dot krs dot layers dot flatten now this time the input shape that i'm giving over here is input underscore shape and the shape of my input is 25 by 25 by 3 so i'll have to convert this input into a flattening layer now once i'll convert into a flattened vector representation next this input is connected to my hidden layer so now to connect this to my hidden layer i'll say model dot add and then i'm going to say tf dot krs dot layers dot dense and inside the parenthesis i'll have to specify how many number of neurons that i want to have in this hidden layer now in our example we have four hidden neurons so four neurons okay and i want to specify an activation function as ReLU. okay you can check out our other video as how we can use this various activation functions so i'll put the link in description guys okay now once we define our uh, dense layer I'm going to add one more dense layer so model dot add tf dot ks dot layers dot dense and I'm going to specify one more hidden layer and this hidden layer also has four neurons so four comma activation is equal to ReLU and once this hidden layer definition is complete I'll define my output layer so in my output layer I'm having one neuron so model dot add tf dot krs dot layers dot dance and in my output layer i'm having a single neuron and this single neuron let's assume i'm performing the activity of binary classification i'll specify my activation function as sigmoid all right now once this model definition is complete to get the understanding as how this model is and what are its number of parameters in each layer so i'm going to display my summary model dot summary i'll just execute the code and let's see how it looks like okay we now have the output and this is what it says so in the first layer it's a flattening operation layer here it says the output shape is 1875 now what it is actually doing is as i mentioned already it's going to convert my multi-dimensional array into a single dimensional vector representation so in my array i'm having the shape as 25 by 25 by 3 so let's do the same 25 into 25 into 3 and if i just execute this see there are 1875 that means it has converted my entire three-dimensional array representation data into a single dimensional vector which contains 1875 elements and after the flattening operation this is being sent to a dense layer and if you look at it in my dense layer especially this first hidden layer it has four neurons so obviously so obviously each neuron will have its own set of weights 1875 into 4 plus 4 and we should get the number of parameters as 7504 we can do the same 1875 into 4 so this will define the number of neurons plus 4 so see we have 7504 so those are the number of parameters in this layer and this is followed by another set of hidden layer which contains four neurons and in my final output layer i am having this sigmoid activation function so in this way we can define our neural network model using tensorflow library it's very intuitive as you can clearly see in my first layer i have to make sure that i am flattening it and then this is sent to my other layers so other layers can be hidden layers as you can clearly see over here and we can also specify how many uh, number of neurons that we want and what is the type of connections that we are actually setting in over here so in this scenario it's a dense connection that i'm setting out and i've also specified the activation that i want to have in me have in my each layer and in my final i've just displayed the summary to get the visualization as how my neural network would look like so this was about creating the neural network using tensorflow now in the next upcoming videos i'll show you some of the tips and tricks when we are creating the deep learning neural networks so i'll see you next time and subscribe to our channel if you are new to us 
All right. I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.